Statistics visualized with icons and other graphic elements have a unique way of turning otherwise hard to process information into bite-sized, engaging figures. This is why Visme recently launched a cool pictograph maker that allows you to translate statistics into visual representations and even create bar charts using icons. So let's take a look at some of the creative ways you can use this new feature. So for example, here we have the statistic 3% of people with disabilities are literate, and we have it visualized to the left with an icon array. This icon array is composed actually of a hundred different icons of people and three of them are highlighted by using a different color. So you see here that in just one glance I can quickly grasp the statistic versus just having the text alone. Now we have here another example, 65% of the population are visual learners. Now this statistic is visualized not using human icons but using circles instead of different colors and you can see in one glance that 65% is a bit more than half of the population. So here we get the idea quickly that a large percentage of the population are visual learners. So now that I've shown you a few examples of icon arrays, I'm going to show you how to recreate them. So the first step is to click on the Charts and Data Widgets tool on the left side of your screen. Once you do that, you'll see the dock panel appear. So here I can choose the Icon Array tool. I click on it and I see several icons appear on my stage. Now to customize this, all I have to do is click on the settings option here on the top bar of your screen. I click on it and then I see this window up here. So to change each of these icons, all I have to do is click on the arrow here and then I see a search bar appear. So here I can insert the keyword related to the, to the type of icon that I want to search for. In this case, the, the icon that I'm looking for is of a person, so this one is fine, but I want to change the second one because this is a female icon, so I want to change it to a male. I click on this and then I type in the keyword here. So let's say man, I type in that keyword and then I see these options appear, so I want to choose this one. And I remember here that I had a hundred different icons, so I want to change uh, the numbers here. I want to have 97 of one color and three of another color. So there you see 97 appear, and now I want to change the color to match what I had before. So before, I believe I had one of these colors, and you see here all the colors you've used previously are stored here. So I believe it was one of these colors, and choose this one. And then I want to change the second one as well, I believe it was a turquoise color, so I can choose any of the ones I have here. So once you have your colors, you can also change the number of icons per row. So in this case, I had, I believe, there were 20 per row, so I can insert that number here. And now I can resize it by clicking on the, the corner and dragging it. So now you see it's starting to look like what we had before. Now I can adjust its placement by simply moving it and then you see the, the guidelines that appear to help you place it um, neatly aligned with the rest of the objects that you have on your stage. And that's it. That's all you have to do to create an icon array. Now here we have another example that I'm going to show you how to create. And so I'm going to delete this for a moment. And so I'm going to go to that array tool and click on it and then my icons appear on my stage. Then I go to the settings option. And so I had here a series of houses. They were all of different colors. So what I do know is that I want to have three icons and all of them are going to be houses. So what I'm going to do here is simply type in the keyword house and then choose the style that I want. You can see here there are different styles. There's outline style and then there's also flat icons. So I want a flat icon. I'm going to choose this one here and I'm going to do the same for the rest of them. And now I'm going to change the color. So the first one was the, the blue that I had there. So I'm going to click on the swatch and then I can click on any of the previously used colors or I can use any of the presets available within Visme. So I want to go to a previously used color here and I believe it was this one. And I do the same for the second icon. And then for the third one. So now that I have my colors, all I have to do is insert the values. So I have 25 for the first icon, and 21 for the second, and 54 for the third. 
And now we see here that it, there are only five icons per row. So I want to change that. So let's say I want to have 20 per row. I can insert here that value. And it's looking a little bit wider than what I had before. So let's say I want to have 10 per row. I can insert that value. And then I can simply adjust this by dragging the handle. And then using the alignment guides to align it to the, to the text that I have here to the right. So now what I'm going to show you how to do is how to create pictogram graphs, which are a little bit different from the icon arrays in that they're simply bar charts using icons in place of the typical segments, pie chart segments or bars that you see in these graphs. So for example, here we have monthly alcohol consumption, and this is just a mock graph. It's not, they're not real statistics. It's just for the sake of showing you that these icons are replacing the bars here. So um, this is useful for when you want to visualize um, simple, simple information and whole integers not decimals, but whole integers. So for example, here we see that in Europe, the, the average person consumes uh, six units of alcohol. And again, these are mock statistics. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna erase this first one so that I can recreate it and show you how to do it. So I'm gonna delete this. And I can go to the charts and data widgets tool here and then choose the array feature. And then you see this pop up here on your canvas. So now I go to the settings option. And now what I want to do is replace these icons with the ones I had. So I'm going to click on the arrow here and then search for um, beer glass. So I type that in for just beer and I click on the option here and there it is. So I click on that icon to replace it and I do the same here. Now I want to change the color to what I had before. So I'm going to click on this swatch. And I see here all the previously used colors that I had. I believe that it was yellow, so I'm going to click on this. And then the second one was a uh, dark gray, so I believe it was this one. Now I want to change the number, so I had here six, and I had four of the, the gray one. So now I want to change the number of icons per row. So now I want to have, instead of five, ten. So I just simply type in ten here. And then I can resize this by dragging the, the handle here in the corner so that I can have it to the same size as the rest of them. And then I just drag it so that I can position it. And I'm using here the, the guidelines to help me align it neatly with the rest. And this is another example of a pictograph. So the only difference with the last one is that here I have three icons instead of just one of different colors. So what I want to do here is visualize the responses to a survey. And the question is, what's your favorite sport? So let's say that we have here rounded percentages. So let's say four out of 10 people in Florida responded that they like basketball, or maybe two out of 10 responded that they like volleyball. And this would be useful for visualizing that. And again, these are mock statistics, so don't take these as real. So let's say here I'm going to um, erase this so I can show you how to recreate it. So I delete this, and then I go to the Array tool here, and then go to the Settings option, and then I look for the icons that I had. So then I had a basketball, I believe. So I'm going to type that in, and then here I'm going to search for the tennis ball. So there it is, and we click on that, and then I'm going to add a third icon. I believe it was a volleyball. So now I'm going to change the color here so that it matches the rest of them. So I have all my colors previously used here, so this is handy now that I can just click on it and I don't have to look for it again. And I can do the same here, and the same for the third icon. So now I can adjust the number of icons per row. So I have here 10 instead of 5. I can also uh, input the values here, which I almost forgot to do. So I had here 4 who responded for basketball, 4 for tennis, and 2 for volleyball. Now I just adjust the size here to match the rest. And then reposition it. So this is how easy it is to create um, pictographs in place of bar charts for visualizing whole integers and simple data. So stay tuned for more features and tips and hacks that we'll be rolling out in the future. And thank you for listening.